got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show today, man. Damn good show. Yeah. Tell them how they can support the show, kid. You tell them. You don't feel like it? I don't feel like it. All right, I tell them. I tell them. Yeah? Hey, to support the show, go to officialhogstwins.com. Get you a patriotic t-shirt, a hat, tumbler. We got all kinds of patriotic items over there. Use discount code Brandon. Why don't you just spit it out, man? 20% off. We're also giving away a brand new Jeep Gladiator. Yeah, at the end of the contest, you go to our wellness line. Yeah. We sell CBD and Delta 8 gummies. Yeah. gummies. You buy a product over there, you're automatically entered into the contest. Yeah, we just gave away the Ford Raptor. We'll release the video of the winner just to make sure y'all understand that we're not just scamming people. Yeah. <laughs> I know like, y'all, y'all kind of thinking it, guys. They're, they're conservative now, but they are black. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a little scam up in them. <laughs> No, we actually we'll show you the winner and his reaction and everything. It was great. We're not scamming y'all. It's a sweepstake. Yeah. Sweepstakes. It was a patriot too. I'm glad he wanted out everybody that I don't know. I'm sure it was all the great people to enter Yeah, but he's a really he's a good guy. He's doing great things. Yeah, yeah. But so, anyway, Stephen A. Smith, ESPN, what do you call them? Sportscasters? No, nah, they ain't sportscasters. They ain't what, even, what they, they're not even sports commentators. <laughs> what did they they're uh, propagandists. <laughs> They, they are paid shields. Yeah, they, they they talk a little sports. Yeah. But then they just feed all that propaganda in there. Yeah, they are they are man, they are agents of the state. All right, let me uh you mean agents of China. <laughs> yeah, you can call them that too. I mean they for the big man, they for the top ten percent. That's who they for. No, they for the top one it's not top ten, it's, it's top one percent. <laughs> Ain't no top ten percent. I they put, put a, a top ten percent. I put a zero in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the top. The saying is the top one percent. All right. So Stephen A. Smith, he he's, uh, he talks sports on ESPN. Yeah. And just to give y'all a little background, Kyrie Irving, right, basketball player, he don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. This dude's Stephen A. has been talking trash on this dude. <laughs> yeah. Talk about get the vaccine. It's going to protect from spreading it. You're going to um, take care of people around you. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're which is selfish. misinformation. Yeah, which is misinformation because the yeah. vaccine. Only like, pro- provides protection. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't keep you from getting sick and it doesn't keep you from stress. So I don't even see the point, but but whatever. So, but Steve You're not Mason, a scientist, though, man. Yeah, I'm not a scientist. I'm you're not, not a smart. scientist. And, it, and we're not saying all vaccines are perfect, but a majority of the time when you take a vaccine, it's supposed to give you immunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to. There's always a breakthrough case, you know, but it seems like we're having a breakthrough case every day. Well, but this vaccine, it doesn't promise you immunity. So I don't know why they call them breakthroughs. Yeah. Like if somebody get the uh, polio vaccine and they get polio, that's a damn breakthrough. Because how many yeah. people you see here walk around here with polio now? You're going to never see Pfizer coming out with a polio uh, booster shot. Chicken pox booster shot, it should... It, don't make sense because the vaccine, the original vaccine, yeah. gives you immunity. You don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Let me say this. So, but unfortunately for Stephen A., who was fully vaccinated and boosted. Yeah. He got all three jabs. He got all three jabs because, you know, he's not selfish. <laughs> he's a good person. Yeah. That's why he did. You know, everybody don't get vaccinated. They're just horrible people. Uh, you had to take because you work for ESPN. That's why. <laughs> You wanted your they job. Are, yeah, they'll fire your black ass if you don't take that damn vaccine. <laughs> Thanks they for all let- the service, Stephen A., but you ain't getting the booster. You got the vaccine? Nope. Fired. Get out of here. Yeah. Man, you are a selfish human being. But anyway, he he's boosted and all that. This dude gets sick with COVID. What's, let him explain it, man. Yeah, let, let Stephen A. Explain. This is straight from the horse's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I had a 103-degree fever every night. Mm. Woke up with chills and pool of sweat, uh, headaches were massive, coughing profusely, and it got to a point that right before New Year's Eve, I was in the hospital New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. That's how I brought in the New Year. And they told me, had I not been vaccinated, I wouldn't be here. How you know that? Yeah. Just because they told you that, you believe it, huh? You believe everything a white man tell you, huh? <laughs> hey, you know, if you didn't take that vaccine, you'd be dead already. You'd be dead and gone. You How did he know that? Hey, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Hey, Kevin, look at me. Let me say this. If I get in a car accident, I got my seatbelt on. That bitch flipped 15 uh, times. 
man, if I wasn't wearing that seatbelt, I wouldn't be here. That makes sense. You saying that about a vaccine that is an experimental vaccine. It just provides pr protection, doesn't provide immunity. How do you know that vaccine saved you? Yeah, okay, the vaccine doesn't give you immunity. But do y'all recall when this vaccine first came out? They said, get vaccinated, right? Yeah. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to do that social distancing. distancing. You know why? Because you're vaccinated, right? Then people's getting vaccinated, and they were still getting sick, still spreading it. So hold up. Y'all need to put that damn mask back on, and you need to be uh, social distancing. If the vaccine doesn't keep you from getting getting COVID, doesn't keep you from getting sick, mm. why is it keeping you from dying? How the f*** does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A., I'm not vaccinated or boosted. I didn't have to go to the hospital. And me, you're roughly the same age, height, weight, and everything. I don't get it. How does that work? It doesn't keep you from getting COVID, <laughs> getting sick, but it keeps you from dying from it. So I ask again, how the f*** does that work? <laughs> hey, Stephen A. Have the pharmaceutical companies released any information on how they know? I mean, they didn't know you was going to continue to get sick and be able to spread COVID when mm -hmm. it first came out with the vaccine. Yeah. But now they'll get sure as hell, if you didn't get that vaccine, Stephen A., your heart would explode in your <laughs> chest and you'd be dead right now. Hey, calm down, man. <laughs> Hey, look, Stephen A., look, neither one of us are vaccinated or boosted. We didn't have to go to the hospital. I was sick as a dog, feet turned blue. They said it was the last sign before death, but I made it. <laughs> right? But You're fully vaxxed and boosted. Why did you have to go to the hospital and I didn't? Kyrie Irving's not vaccinated. He playing ball again. He ain't got sick. Yeah, dude. Why you got sicker than me and you're vaccinated and boosted? I didn't get as sick as you. Hey, may, hey, hey. Why, Stephen A? Hey, hey, maybe Stephen got a bad back. Betcha what? I mean, a bad mate. You know, sometimes you make some stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was a bad back right there. I didn't taste right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you just got a bad back. But you, you know what? It's a whole lot of people getting some bad backies out of here. Yeah. For you to even, I don't know. I mean, that's just me. I mean, I second guess everything I hear. I don't trust anybody on left or right. But for yeah. them to tell you 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 wouldn't be here because you're fully vaccinated doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I got sick as a dog and I made it, but I'm not even vaccinated. Sounds like to we me never... you got a lot sicker than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> How did you get sicker than we did? Let me say this. When I was you, in... your ass had to go to the hospital. You in that coughing, pool of sweat. Headaches of math, you up in the hospital, you got all them drugs up in you from Pfizer, and that shit did nothing. What well, it kept him from dying. <laughs> I don't believe that. That drug in his body's like, yep, he's about to go. Let's go ahead and kick in and start working for this bitch. <laughs> That's how the shit works. And you believe it. I don't believe that, Stephen A. And I, I, I know deep down. Let me say this. When I was in the Marine Corps, I never took a flu shot, right? This is my own personal experience. I was in the Marine Corps. They said, you need to take this flu shot, Marine. Keeps you from getting the flu. Everybody's getting it. And I was like, oh, sh I never took a flu shot. I never get the flu. No, I take it. I took the flu shot. Next day, sick as a dog on my deathbed. <laughs> Guess what I had? The f flu. <laughs> right? So you, ever since then, I never took that damn flu shot ever again. Right? So what it gives you... What the hell? What gives you the what gives you what the ability the to go on TV and tell people you survived because of a vaccine that only provides protection, no immunity, and you think that saved your black ass? You got you went on TV and said, and you pretty much sound like a salesman for the pharmaceutical company. Damn yeah, good information. I got sick as hell, pool of sweat, headaches was horrible, 103, 104 degree temperature, New Year's. I'm in the hospital. Sound like you was on your damn deathbed for New Year's, right? I bet you I gave you time to think about all that damn trash you was talking about Kyrie, huh? I bet you was hoping, man, I hope I don't die from this shit. Yeah, n be making memes for me. <laughs> <laughs> These could be making memes on me for the next for two weeks. All my family and loved ones gonna have to see that shit. I'm gonna be dead and gone. I ain't got to see it. <laughs>
I bet you was praying, please, God, don't let me die from this bullshit. <laughs> I'm boosted too. Ain't got the vaccine. I'm and talking, sick as a dog. And I'm only talking shit about people. <laughs> How about not getting the vaccine. That's what I call karma right there. <laughs> but thank God for that damn vaccine. I'll be dead right now. You stupid mother. <laughs> you, Stephen A. It was a damn good show. Yeah. Mike Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing. Built a great company, great products. I mean, you can buy pillows, towels. You can even buy some stuff for your pets, for your dog. I'm buying some stuff for my dog, Milo and Ruby. We support people that have a great product and supports our country. Yeah. And they support freedom of speech. Yeah, I don't, I don't support companies that's... Yeah. Just that don't support this country. Yeah, I don't support companies that don't value other people's opinions. And the left is trying to destroy this man because he has a different opinion. Yeah. Just and, because he supported the yeah. president of yeah. the United States. So go to his website now. Yeah. Right? Use discount code Hogs Twins. Yeah. Get a huge discount and you'll be supporting a patriot. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.